Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing well. I'm your English teacher and today we will be discussing Unit 2, Be Grateful with its explanation and exercises. So there is a poem uh, in this unit of Allah Love Me. It's on page number 14. Let me read it out first. I see you in stars when the night glows with spark, when the trees sway in the air and birds enjoy their share, when the flowers bloom in queue and sleep at night with dew, when I need a lot of care, I feel your presence there. Do help me in my deeds, I smile or when I weep, when no one else can hear, when I bitterly shed my tears. Nor others can support my smile, I've judged it far of miles. Enlighten please my core, O oh Allah, just love me more. It's written by Fatima Mehru. And uh, the poem, you can um, judge it from the title that it is about, uh, it is about the poet's love with Allah. So uh, let me write the difficult, uh, let me explain the difficult meanings first, the difficult words first. Uh, there is a word glows which means brightens, spark means flare, and sway means swing, blue means blossom, Q means sequence, dew means tiny drops of water, deed means acts, and just beneath deed you can see weep, weep means cry and uh, bitterly means in an angry way, shed means to give off, support means help, miles mean long way, enlighten means educate, core means heart. So let me explain the first stanza. I see you in stars when the night glows with spark, when the trees sway in the air and birds enjoy their share. So um, there is a thing that uh, when we say where is Allah, the answer we always get is Allah is everywhere. So the similar situation is going on here in the poem that the poet sees Allah in stars and in the night that glows with spark and when the trees sway in the air when the trees sway, uh, swing in the air uh, usually when there is wind you can see that the trees are swinging so the poet sees Allah in it and birds enjoy their share and when the birds are chirping with each other and they are enjoying uh, so the poet sees Allah in it so it was all about stanza number one. Now we will move towards stanza number two. When the, uh, when the flowers bloom in queue and sleep at night with dew. Now uh, all of these lines are uh, related to the first line, okay? I see you. I see you. Then all of the lines after this are related to this I see you, the three words, okay? When the flowers bloom in queue. So when the flowers are uh, blooming in a sequence, okay, in a line, so uh, the poet sees Allah in it and uh, sleep at night with you. And this is about the flowers as well, that when the flower sleeps at night with, tri with tiny drops of water on them, in that the poet sees Allah. When I need a lot of care, I feel your presence there. So now the poet is saying that when she needs a lot of care, so uh, when she's sad and she wants some care, she uh, feels the presence of Allah there. She feels Allah there, that only Allah is there. We all uh, feel like this in a certain situation uh, usually that when we are sad we see uh, we see we feel allah there then we will move towards stanza number three do help me in my deeds deeds mean acts i i smile or when i weep 
when no one else can hear when i bitterly shed my tears so she uh, she is asking allah to help her in her deeds to guide her to the right way okay when you are doing something you ask allah to guide you to the right path i smile or when i weep so uh, allah is the only power and the only ultimate power that is there when you are uh, smiling or when you are weeping when the situation and the time is good or bad only allah is there for you when no one else can hear when i bitterly shed my tears usually when we cry we cry alone when nobody sees us but allah is always there you cannot hide your tears from allah you always feel the presence of allah when you are, when you cry when you cry uh, alone so uh, here in this stanza you realize that uh, allah is the only uh, ultimate power that is always there for you now we will move towards stanza number 4 nor others can support my sum a uh, my smile i've judged it far of miles enlighten please my core oh allah just love me more so none other than allah can help you smile uh, the poet says that she has judged this uh, uh, in a long time that no other power can make you smile than allah enlighten please my core now the uh, now the poet uh, seeks light and education enlighten means to educate me to give me knowledge to light me please my core core here means heart core is the middle part okay the middle the center but uh, in human body usually we consider heart as our core oh allah just love me more so she asked for enlightenment just like we asked for enlightenment in our assembly when we say rabbi zidni ilma here she is asking about the same thing oh allah just love me more and then at the end she is again asking for the love of allah because when you have the love of allah you need no love other than the love of allah in life only allah is sufficient to uh, to make you successful and to be always there for you only allah is the ultimate power who can do this so this was all about the uh, explanation of the poem and one thing more that uh, the four lines that you see uh, in the poem you see four paragraphs and in each paragraph there are four lines so these four lines mean stanza okay the four lines mean stanza so there are four stanzas and uh, every stanza has four lines now we will move towards the difficult words meaning the first one is glows glows mean um, brightens the second one is spark spark means flare the third is sway sway means swing fourth is bloom bloom means blossom fifth is cue cue means sequence sixth is dew dew means tiny drops of water seventh is deeds deeds mean acts eighth is weep weep means cry and uh, then bitterly bitterly means in an angry way shed shed means to give off support support means to help miles miles mean long way mm, enlighten enlighten means educate and uh, the last one is core core means heart now we will move towards the book exercises that are on page number 16 and 17 first we'll discuss exercise b uh, part 2 okay look at the given pictures and read the story we will be discussing this exercise
look at the given pictures and read the story you see four pictures in which uh, in one uh, first picture the lion is angry and the mouse is running the in the second picture the mouse and the lion are talking the mouse is grabbing the the lion is grabbing the mouse and they are talking and in the fourth picture you can see that the lion is stuck in a net and the mouse is uh, there and they are talking and then in the fourth picture you see that the mouse is helping uh, the lion by cutting the net with his teeth okay now we will read out uh, this story once there was a lion sleeping in a forest suddenly a lion uh, suddenly a mouse came and climbed on its body the lion got disturbed and woke up from his sleep the lion angrily took hold of the tiny mouse the mouse pleaded with the lion to let him go saying he would help him in need the lion laughed at the mouse and let him go one day a hunter came and spread a net to catch the lion the lion did not see that net and got stuck in it he roared and tried to escape but failed the mouse heard the lion's roars and came there he started cutting the net with his teeth the lion got out of the net and thanked the mouse the mouse fulfilled his promise and saved the lion's life so you can see that all the uh, the lines are related to the pictures and uh, it makes a story and the story is quite in a sequence so this is actually an example you will take help from this uh, exercise and you will do this exercise in your rough notebooks look at the given pictures and write a story in your notebook in your rough notebook okay there are four pictures in which you see uh, in the first picture there is an ant and it is drowning in the river and then there is a dove that is sitting on the tree and uh, uh she sees the ant and then she takes a leaf and uh, the take it to the ant and the ant uh, climb on the leaf and then she takes the leaf and put it on the shore okay then in the third picture you can see that there is a hunter and there is a dove and the dove cannot see the hunter and then there is an ant and the ant can see the hunter and the ant is quite angry so she bites the hunter and the hunter uh, just uh, the hunter got uh, disbalanced so uh, then the dove realized that yeah there was a hunter and he was trying to catch me and she flies away so in the fourth picture you can see that the dove thanked the ant for helping so the story line is almost the same they in the previous story the mouse and the lion help each other and in this story the dove and the ant are helping each other so you will make a story uh, in a proper sequence okay in your rough notebook with the help of these four pictures write two to three lines on each uh, on each picture in a sequence and complete the whole story then we have exercise 4 uh, exercise b and part 4 read the poem again and fill in the blanks with the correct options so you can see that there are some uh, fill in the blanks and some options are uh, given in which you have to select the correct one the poet uh, the first one is the poet sees allah in the dash at night moon sun stars or clouds uh, you will go towards uh, you will go back to the poem and you will read it again and you will see that where the poet sees allah so is it in the moon is it in the sun is it in the stars or clouds then the second one is the poet says that the flowers dash in a queue dry up bloom wither wither means decay or waste okay uh, the fourth one is fade now you will find out this answer again in the poem the third one is the poet wants dash father's love mother's love a friend's love or allah's love this is a general question you will think about it that uh, whether uh, he wants whether she wants father's love mother's love a friend's love or allah's love then uh, there is another fill in the blank 
Allah is always dash the poet when she cries or smile. So away from, near, far from or beyond. Allah is always away from the poet. Allah is always near the poet. Allah is always far from the poet. Or Allah is always beyond the poet. You will mark the correct one. When the poet needs a lot of care, Dash is always there. Her mother is always there. Her father is always there. Or Allah is always there. Or her brother is always there. You will all... Uh, mark the correct you will mark the correct one and you will think about it when you read the poem again by your own self okay and i have not mentioned the answers here so this is your homework you will do exercise b part 4 of page number 17 on your book with an ink pen okay with an ink pen and uh, you will read out the poem and uh, you will mark the correct one so this was all about today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.